In this video I'm going to show you how to initialize an uninitialized camera from CCTV Camera World using the config tool. So first I'm going to open up the config tool. I'm going to click yes to allow it to make changes. Here we can see that we have an NVR and an IP camera on the same IP address. So in order to fix that I'm going to first need to initialize my IP camera. So in order to do that I'm going to go ahead and check the IP camera. If you have many uninitialized IP cameras, you could also do them all at the same time using this config tool and the initialize button. So then I'm going to click the initialize button. It's going to pull up the list of cameras or devices that I've selected to initialize. I can go ahead and check this or uncheck any that I don't necessarily want to initialize. And then I'm going to click the initialize button down here at the bottom right. It's going to take a few moments to get the information from the camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in the factory password that we use. You could theoretically set it to any password. We recommend using our factory default password. That way you can contact us in case you forget it or you lose the password. We also recommend using our own shippingtech101 at gmail.com email address. That way, if you ever need assistance resetting the password for your device, you can reach out to us and we'll have the code ready for you. Down here is select P slash N. This stands for your video format. P stands for PAL. That is primarily used in Europe and South America. For North America, you're going to want to use N, which stands for NTSC, which is the standard video format for North America. Now that I've verified my password, I've verified my recovery email address and I've selected the correct video format for my location. I'm going to click the next button. In here I can uncheck easy for IP and uncheck auto check for updates. If you plan on using P2P or easy for IP to connect to your device you can leave this button checked otherwise you'll have to re-enable it inside of the settings on your camera. But we cover that in another video. We'll click the OK button and it will take some time to initialize this device. So you can see it didn't take too terribly long and I get a green check mark telling me that the camera was successfully initialized. So I can close out of the details window that I got to by clicking that green check mark and then I can click the finish button. This camera is now initialized and you can move forward to the next video to change its IP address. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.